For our July message, we will be using the Wise Cat Tarot by Stella Andromeda. I don't know if that's a real name, but we will be using uh, the Tree of Life Oracle by David Wells and Roberta Orpwood. The Priestess of Light Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor and Kimberly Weber. And the Wild Mystic Oracle card by Anastasia Catris. Our overall, our overall energy for July, Five of Cups, very encouraging. Something we're doing that's working <laughs> for us, something we're doing we're wor that's working for us, Ten of Cup. Something we're doing that's working against us. Seven of Sword. What is our current energy? Our current state? King of Coin. What is our challenge? Our challenge card? Ten of Wand. What is our future card? Future card? The Hermit. Something we're unaware of that we need to be aware of. Okay. The Moon card. Kind of ironic, I think. <laughs> What is our advice card? Our advice is the hanged man. Uh, okay. And our outcome, our outcome card. Queen of coin.
I'm going to read these um, oracle cards here. Uh, I just realized the 47 adds up to uh, 11. So there's that. Okay, River of Blessings, re Releasing Constraints. The Priestess of Purification holds out a bowl of blessed water overflowing in your direction. The all-seeing Jagu Jaguar brings his power of creation into your life, heralding a significant positive change in your circumstances. You may have been experiencing a time of cha uh, challenges such as financial constraints, perhaps living paycheck to paycheck, or going deep into debt. Your restrictions, however, may be of a more emotional nature. Perhaps you've been lonely, missing romantic, familial, or f friendly love. Even a lack of joy from the ongoing t tediousness of life could be a great limitation for you. But whether these restrictions have been long-lasting or recent, this card reveals a new powerful force flowing into your life, breaking through even more severe limitations of the past. Your difficulties may have been a, uh, very hard to bear, but this has been a time of profound purification for you. The priestess is blessing your rebirth after suffering, giving you the jaguar's ability to view your experience with sharp eye clarity, a release of attachment that brings the promise of achievement. Whatever limitation you have endured, a beneficial solution is coming your way. So, so rest assured that the old issues will be resolved as you go through your day. Bless yourself with a clear intention. See any restrictions as merely a part of your passage from purification to personal progress. Just as the Jaguar has a unique visual acuity, your own inner visions are coming into sharp fo focus, ready to become an even greater reality. In fact, this river of blessings will carry you far beyond anything you have yet imagined. Okay, we see the bowl there. Okay, cool. I really like the backs of these. Just saying. Now this element of fire card, passion, enthusiasm, creation, Got a dragon there. It's pretty cool. Now, this is on page 46. I thought that was kind of funny. The mighty guardian of the south, Jin, king of fire, ruler uh, rules the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The magical tool of fire is the wand, and the overseer arch archangel is Michael. Djinn presents it himself as a powerhouse of energy carrying a fiery staff or wand as surrounded by living sparks of light, the S-shaped salamanders of his element, fiery sparks of creation awaiting his command. Guidance. What do you need to lift to give power and enthusiasm to? You can get yourself fired up should you choose uh, dance, work out, go for a brisk walk, do star jumps in your leggings and headband, do whatever works for you, but know uh, that energy creates more energy. Link with the air element and talk to your, talk yourself into doing it if you have to, but use fire to break through procrastination and stagnation. However, beware, fire may have you feeling overzealous running ahead before you've learned the route or seen the pitfalls. Too much of it can cause you to stumble. Also, anger is attached to fire. Anger isn't necessarily a bad thing, but mismanaged, it can be destructive. Know if you're feeling the first burst of a moment that needs change or the longer burn of something that calls for something, uh, calls for more creative solutions. Someone who is fiery could enter your life now. They'll be, e be easily spotted, but are they there to motivate you or annoy you? Either way, a new dynamic will begin. Activate. If you have a solid fuel bur burning stove or a fire pit, light a, the fire, light a fire and spend some time looking into the flames. As they dance, allow your gaze to soften. Use the fire as a meditation. Let your mind create images and insights from these, this element. If that's not possible, get fiery colors into your life, red, orange, bright yellow. And our disguise card. 
This card represents the skies and f facade. It is the idea of blending into one's social landscape to fit in, but also in order to acclimate to new surroundings. The natural camouflage of the ch chameleon might be interpreted as deceptive or duplicitous in one, in one reading, but it may also signify the need to protect oneself by blending in and becoming invisible. This card just could symbolize a wallflower who feels invisible or a social f butterfly who can adapt and thrive in any social situation. While we largely associate the chameleon's color-changing ability with camouflage, it is also used to, to signal their intentions, health, temperature, and feelings. The chameleon card may represent wearing your heart on your sleeve and allowing your deeper feelings to show. This card may also represent those born under the Western zodiac sign of Gemini. Okay, we have Earth. So there's a lot of weird things about these cards. So five of cups for the whole month, uh, that's just weird to me. I think that's the uh, crying over spilled, spilled milk card. Whenever I see five of cups, I think we to just focus on gratitude. I also think it's interesting this art, this author had all has all the cups facing down because uh, five of cups usually has the two cups upright and the three spilled so what's working for us ten of cups what is what what's working for us um so that's good. I mean, that's our relationships and, and family. So focus on that. And what's weird, what's working against us, what we're doing that's working against us is the Seven of Swords. And this Seven of Swords has the moon in it. And usually the Seven of Swords is th like this, like, it's a yellow card and no moon. Um, I just think it's interesting because we have the moon down here in the something we're not aware of position, which makes it more confusing because the moon, <laughs> the moon card is things are not what they seem with the moon card. So it's kind of like a double... I don't want to say double negative, but it makes it, it basically I'm saying it, it's confusing <laughs> or maybe it's just verifying that we don't, there's a lot we don't know here. And for advice, like we're, we have to take some time to uh, just open our mind and look at things differently um so yeah i don't i don't know the overall message here i want to say like some people think this seven of cards is seven of cards seven of swords is a like a uh, someone is lying or something but since we have ten of cups and our what's working for us i i feel like this the Seven of Swords is not pertaining to uh, like a dishonest person. I I think it's like we're overcomplicating things. And what's really weird to me is this hermit here is in the future position. So it's and I, I maybe I need to use a, di a different spread because I don't know I I. I wonder like the difference between this outcome position and the future position. I mean, what's the difference? So, you know, this future position where we're going inward and, and having some solitude. So I, I'm hoping it's not 
I would like to think it's it's not because something bad happened. The other thing that I think is interesting is we have king of coin and queen of coin. So I feel like it's saying the this message is there's some like a a relationship involved, friendship something involving someone uh, another person but ten of wands here in our in our uh, challenge it's this same message that I keep hearing is is getting rid of stuff like there's too much trying to too, do too many things and, and that kind of ties in with Seven of Swords like just over complicating things um, but I do think it's weird we have the Seven of Swords the Moon and this Disguise card I'm just feeling that there's there's, there's all this uncertainty like we don't we don't know anything I definitely don't know <laughs> what these what this uh message is. So yeah, we also have this releasing constraints message that kind of that goes with this 10 of wands here. So so our outcome though being queen of coin here. I just think it's significant that King of coin is our current energy and the outcome is queen of coin. So I, again, you know, I, I don't know if that's a, a couple or if this is some kind of change, someone uh, evolving, evolving into a uh, queen of coin energy. Bottom line here, we don't know things. Uh, get rid of clutter. Try to focus on gratitude. And especially for our advice card, um, just try looking, try and look at things differently. And uh, yeah, have an open mind and not to Try not to be too rigid. I, I want to feel like this, there's more to this card here. Um, passion, enthusiasm, creation. Like, yeah, I like just focus on those things um, rather than getting all wrapped up with the Seven of Sword here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just another, another, uh, vibe of like, you know, we don't know things, <laughs> we don't know things and, and, and I mean, yeah, waiting, like more waiting, but, uh, and just for grins, just to show, give a sample here of this, this book, we have, uh, Neptune here. And 12 for this uh, entry here it takes courage to become unstuck there is much wisdom to be found in stillness and while the hangman card can feel like a punishment it also it shows us the world in a new way we may need to be metaphorically turned upside down if we are to expand our understanding but if like the hanged man we can embrace this temporary tethering. We uh, we can, when we are ready, st step out again, far better equipped to do the work our soul brought us here for. So, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I like there is some positivity here, but there's also some confusion. But. Uh, yeah, let's just focus on the, the perspective and uh, gratitude. Let's try not to be too disappointed this month 
and focus on our relationships that are working for us and uh, throw away some stuff. So speaking of disappointment, uh, I hope this message wasn't too disappointing for you. I do thank you for watching.